Hello, I hope you are doing well today, in this video I'm going to show you the Videra app and how it's working, in the left side menu we have, dashboard, video funnels, video pages, video emails, contacts, emails, next we have manage teams, integrations, reseller manager, and white label. Let's start with video funnel. If you're looking for a more personalized way to reach out to people online, the Video Funnel is a tool that allows you to start asynchronous video conversations with respondents. With Videra app you can create a new funnel quickly and easily. Let's get started clicking Add New Folder, give it a name, Lead Generation, and click Save. If you've created more than a handful of video funnels with your team members, you've probably noticed things can get complicated fast. Luckily you can organize your video funnels into folders to keep things nice and tidy. As you can see here, we already have some campaigns for different purpose. Let's create a new campaign first we need to choose a folder from the list, name and description of the campaign next click create. This is the main funnel builder interface, at the top we have some actions, funnel settings, add new step, preview button and save. Let's click on add new step, as you can see here we can, record a video from webcam, screen share, from your uploaded videos, done for you video, Giphy, Pixel, YouTube, Dropbox and Vimeo. Now I'm going to choose from my already uploaded videos. And here we go a new step just added to the funnel. Let's add another new step. Choose your video, then click next, now a new step added. Let's make it the first video in the funnel, you can add as many steps as you need. I'm going to fast forward until I completed the all the funnel steps. Next I'm going to see how to customize our video funnel. First I'm gonna click on the welcome video. Here we have so many options. In the video tab you can download your video. You can also edit the trim if you need to make timing adjustments. In the branding tab, you can customize each of these options to make your funnel video uniquely yours. You can change the background color of the main video, text color buttons color, buttons text color and more. When creating a new video or step you will be prompted to select an answer type. By default, the open-ended answer type will be selected, but you can easily change it to any of the options below. The open-ended questions are free option questions that allow respondents to answer in open text format, video or audio. An opt-in form is a user subscription and email marketing form. You can increase your website subscribers easily using an interactive opt-in form. These subscribers can later become your customers. You can create a stunning opt-in form for your visitors, so they feel free to sign up to your email newsletter and become a part of your mailing list once you implement the right tools. The payment answer type can be used to create a paywall or collect payments within your video using Stripe or PayPal. When this answer type is used respondents will be required to pay the amount you have set before they can proceed through the rest of your funnel. Next we have the file upload. This answer type lets you collect files or images from your respondents. The multiple choice answer type is incredibly versatile. It can be used to ask simple yes slash no questions as a navigational menu or to create complex lead qualification funnels through polls and surveys. This is one of two answer types that can be used with conditional logic. Next is call to action. This answer type gives you a single button with a customized call to action. It is useful as a navigational tool, example for an introductory step, to allow respondents to review information or confirm they want to proceed before moving through your video. The calendar answer type lets respondents view and book appointments on your calendar from directly within your video. You can add link from Calendly and HubSpot meetings or from any other platforms. Use the NPS, Net Promoter Score, answer type to collect feedback from your respondents on a scale of 1 to 10. NPS scale labels can be customized however the numbers of the scale are fixed. Add a countdown timer to your video to invoke a sense of urgency for users. 
The countdown can be customized by changing colors to make it stand out among the video. Let's go back to our funnel and click on the settings button to adjust global settings of your funnel. So here we have general setting tabs, I can update folder, name and the description of the video funnel, next we have branding setting and the thumbnail used when sharing on social media. Next, we have advanced options. You can show or hide the video controls, oversize the video button to encourage video recording, show campaign title on the video and reply notifications. Now let's go back to campaigns page. Once you're done building and it's time to start collecting responses, you have a couple of different options to get your funnel out into the world. Every funnel you create has its own unique URL. This means you can hyperlink it in any text, share it in a text message or on social media, or if you want you can't embed it on your website. Looking for a more personal alternative to a chatbot? The widget helps you welcome and interact with site visitors in a truly personalized way. When embedded, the widget will float at the bottom of your page or throughout your site until clicked on to activate. Once activated site visitors can complete your funnel without leaving the page. As you build the widget, your changes will be reflected in the preview. Toggle between desktop and mobile to compare how your widget will appear on different devices, or click expand to view at full screen. When you're finally happy with your widget design, click get the code. You can embed many types of content, including videos, on a web page using a little bit of eframe HTML code. Embedding your funnel with this method will place the video in the midst of other content on your page. Once you start receiving responses to your video funnel, you can view the responses you've received from each of your funnel. And, if you have enabled the contact form and the respondent left their contact details, you can reply to them with a video message. Bear in mind that responses will look different depending on the answer types you have used in your video, because each answer type collects a different type of data. The beauty of Videra is that anyone can answer a video funnel you've created, whether or not they use the app themselves. But the flip side is that if a respondent doesn't leave their contact details, we won't know who they are, so we'll simply call them human. When you receive a human response, you will still have all the data they submitted to each step of your video funnel, but you will not be able to reply to them nor associate their response with any others they may have submitted. So be sure to identify your respondents, enable at least one contact form in your funnel and collect their name and email. Next in left side menu is Video Pages. Video Pages is the fastest growing video follow-up solution in the world. Set yourself apart from the competition and deliver the most unique experience your customer has ever seen. With Videra Video Pages and Video Emails. Videra Video is your virtual solution to introducing yourself and your services in the most genuine way. You can easily bridge the gap between salespeople and your customers. It's a sales app that helps you create real, human relationships with your customer so that you can build trust and close deals. We want to help salespeople stand out in their industry and for customers to have a better buying experience. We're a team of folks who think that communicating with video can truly change the way people do business and make it better. As you can see here, we already have created some video pages. Here I have total visits, next. The engagement rate for each of your videos, so you can promote your top ranked videos to new customers, next total like and comments. To create new video page, it very easy, let's get started, click new project, select folder, name and description, and click create. Next step, I'm gonna choose my video, here I have so, many options, I can record a video from my webcam, screen share, or from my already uploaded videos, done for you video, Giphy, Pixel, YouTube, Dropbox, and Vimeo. So I will choose uploads, select my video and click next. It's done, now I can share my video page. Every video I created has its own unique URL. This means you can hyperlink it in any text, share it in a text message or on social media, 
or if you want you can embed it on your website. You can also copy the embed code for email and send it to my customers using Videra Email Builder or other third-party app. Now I'm going to customize my video. In the settings tab I can update the video page details, next colors and backgrounds of the page and button style. So now we've got these buttons here. This is going to control what happens up here. So this first button is where we're going to be able to add new personalized video, here I have so many options. I will choose a from my already uploaded video, click next. Now we have new video just added. You can add many videos as you need. The next allow you to add call to action and this is where you can do really cool things such as add URLs and this will embed a web page right into your video page. And then I can just organize them in whatever order I'd like my customer to see them. By clicking reorder button. This button allows you to grab content from a canned message that makes adding snippets to your video page quickly and easily. This button allows you to grab content from a canned message that makes adding snippets to your video page quickly and easily. Now let's go forward it and click preview see how my video page looks to others. This the public page. You can customize all the page by adding videos or customize colors to match your brand. Once you shared your video and start receiving responses, your customers can see this public page. They can reply by accepting or declining the request. And they can also like your video. Now I'm going to track my video to see my customers replays and their interactions. Here I have total visits, how many plays, the engagement rate, and total comments. I also have the most engaged viewers and their comments. Next in left side menu is video email. If you need to send a voice email marketing campaign, you may want to send video emails. Videra video emails may be the right solution for your young and brave business. You can work on a HTML email template as long as you want, you may attach images or GIFs, but your email app would generally treat a video as an attachment, making your email too heavy to send. You can also record a video, upload to Vimeo or YouTube and email it out, but most of your contacts is not going to see it. Videra overcomes all these obstacles with an email online editor. You can record video, and then, the video will be directly sent to an email that will show a thumbnail and a play button. Don't worry about your email size, the video is hosted in the cloud. Let's see how it works. Click create new video, give a name and description, next click create. Choose your video and click next. Now have two options to send my video email, I can get my embed code and use it inside my email with third-part apps, like MailChimp, Auber, or directly in Gmail. Or, I can use the Videra Email Builder, it's easy drag and drop email builder. Videra offer you over 100 responsive email templates. The set contains all responsive and no-code email templates to help you take your email campaign off the ground. It's just a matter of choose, edit, and send with email templates by Videra. Email templates are made for businesses of all sizes, big and small. The templates can be used for campaigns of any size, so anybody in need of a quick way of getting their email campaign off the ground can use it with zero coding skills. I'm gonna choose this template and see how the email builder works. This is the main interface of Email Builder, as you can see I can easily drag and drop my video. Once I'm done editing my email template, it's time to start sending email to my customers list, click save and exit. Next, I will continue with my email settings. As you can see here, if I want to customize my template again, or choose another one from done for you templates, I can click the button customize. 
Next, I can send my campaign immediately or choose schedule for send later. Now, to get to your tracking page for individual email, go to emails in the left side menu, then click the stats icon next to the email you'd like to view. On the left side, you'll see more detailed tracking on the email as a whole. Each of these statistics are unique, meaning that each recipient will only be counted once, regardless of how many times that one person opened, played or clicked. Below the last three statistics, you'll also see a score bar, with your open, play and click rated. On the right, you'll see how specific individuals have interacted with your email. Those who have interacted the most will appear at the top. You can see how many times they opened your email, played your video, and clicked a link in your email. Next in the left menu we have contacts, here you can manage your customer's contacts and lists, you can edit, delete, export, or import contacts. Next is manage team, here everything you need as a team admin to create and manage your Videra team. The integration allows you to instantly connect your favorite apps to automate your work and find productivity superpowers. The reseller program offers extra benefits for resellers who white label or resell our solutions. Next is White Label. As you can see here we have Overview tab, you can add your own organization brand name and change the theme color, logo and favicon. Next tab is Email Settings, the following step walk you through the process needed to set up an email white label. Email white label allows you to send email notifications from your own company domain as opposed to our domain. And finally, in the Domain Settings tab, you can add your add your own domain or subdomain name. Thank you for watching.